Welcome to the video overview of the graphical editor feature of TIBCO MDM. You can use the graphical editor to view the record hierarchy in a tree structure and easily manage relationships through the canvas. Let's consider a scenario where the person profile repository is related to the address, email, phone, and various other repositories. You have stored the person's address, email, phone, and other relevant information in each of the target repository. Here, the relation between the person profile repository and the target repository is defined by the relationship, such as contact address, contact email, and contact phone. Now let's view the record hierarchy defined in the person profile repository on the graphical editor page. Select a record and then click on the graphical editor icon. The record hierarchy is displayed on the graphical editor page. However, if you click on the graphical editor icon without selecting any record, you see the left record list pane on the graphical editor page. In the record list pane, you can select a repository to view its records. Search for a specific record using product ID hyphen product ID extension in the record list. Filter records based on the values of record attributes. Add a new record or select a record to display on the relationship canvas. The root node in the tree representation displays a record at the root record level and the names of relationships, that is, relationship node at the immediate child level. Further expansion of one of the relationship nodes displays the child nodes, which are actual records related by the expanded relationship. And on the relationship canvas, you can select a relationship to view on the canvas. Navigate the relationship tree on the left, on the right, and at the center of the canvas. Navigate to the selected level in the tree. Modify the record node or relationship node details. When the hierarchy mode on the canvas changes from view to edit, you can modify the existing record. On the related record node, you can create a related record or add an existing related record. And on the child node, remove a related record. After completing the record addition or the modification process, you can first validate the record before getting stored in the repository. The validation feature checks for errors in every attribute. After the record is successfully validated, you can save a record in the repository and initiate the workflow based on the record operation for review. However, if you have the permission to save a record without workflow, then you can do so. The record is saved in the confirmed state. In between, you can either cancel the record modifications or go back to the browse and search page. Now, a quick view on the entire process of using the graphical editor feature to visualize the record hierarchy data in TIBCO MDM. To know more about how to perform each of these tasks, refer to the TIBCO MDM user's guide on the TIBCO product documentation site. Thanks for watching.